Police say he is desperate and, quote, full of rage. Their words. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. We've got another reward. It's $10,000, but again, I say that's likely to go up. There's $73,000 out there for those four guys in Georgia. I want to bring in uh, Sheriff Brian Albert right now, Washington County, Maryland. He's leading the effort to capture um, Mr. Argote. Uh, critical manhunt at this point. Also joining me, Robert Almonte. He is a former U.S. Marshal, former Deputy Chief of the El Paso Police Department. To the both of you, welcome to the program. Sheriff, I've, if I could begin with you, just the, the very latest on the search um, for Mr. Argote and, uh, and how that car plays into it. What can you tell us? Okay, uh, we located the vehicle on uh, Saturday. It was uh, found by a, a, a land, local landowner where it was uh, in the woods. And, uh, you know, it, it's led us, uh, given us some more clues, and, and we're just adding to our case so we can, uh, you know, we can bring him to justice. Uh, well, those are the words know. I always look for, Sheriff. That's exactly what I look for when you say th those, the car brought you more clues because forensics can be everything and can be a lead better than any caller. What'd you find in the car? <clears throat> Uh, we're, we're still coming through evidence there and downloading. A lot of this uh, that we're looking through is uh, digital and forensic, a footprint. The U.S. Marshals uh, apprehension team here locally in the capital area region of uh, Washington, D.C. is on it. And uh, those guys are relentless, as your other guests can tell you. And uh, we have confidence that we're going to catch the guy. So how long after the murder do you think that Argote allegedly ditched that car deep in the woods to hide it. Uh, with the evidence we found and the rainfall in the area, we're feeling that uh, it was dumped there sometime on the night of the murder. Oh, so it was quick. This was a quick plan. Quick Thursday <laughs> night, uh, October 19th. Do you think, based on what you've been able to ascertain so far, that this was a well-planned and well-thought-out um, execution? Because it had only transpired the afternoon prior that he had lost custody and visitation rights of his children. Yes, we, we think it was definitely a calculated and planned out attack on the judge. And, uh, you know, we thought possibly there could have been some other victims, but, uh, you know, plans always don't go as, as they're planned. So hopefully, uh, you know, we uh, got out of this with just uh, one lost life. Can you tell me what you mean by other victims? Well, we, there's possibility that, you know, this gentleman, uh, that Argote was definitely uh, upset with other people, maybe some of the attorneys in the case, uh, some other judges that seen him previously, and, and then obviously uh, Judge Wilkinson. Were there lists found? Did you see some evidence listing people's names? Uh, no, we, we did not have any lists at this time. What led you to believe there might have been other parties that he was targeting? Well, we're just thinking that he was so... Uh, it, it would be speculation or on our part that, uh, you know, he was so enraged that he he could have been capable of killing more. You know, the very first question I would always ask, if a judge was targeted, um, was the, the target of his wrath also going to be directed at his estranged wife or even the children? Because that can happen. Yes, it, it obviously can happen and, and uh, you know, in more than one case, that has happened. Uh, luckily, that didn't happen at, the, at this time. He did not target the wife uh, that we have any evidence of. So you don't suspect he was perhaps going to target the wife alongside those other parties, attorneys and former judges? Yeah, we, ha we have no, uh, no evidence showing that he was going to target any other people. It's just uh, speculation on our investigators' parts. Did any of the other parties, former judges and attorneys, say to you that they had been threatened or that they had had some concern? Uh, not prior to the to the shooting and the murder of Judge Wilkinson. Obviously, uh, everyone's in a heightened state right now, uh, and anyone that's had dealings with uh, Pedro Argate is, is obviously concerned for their safety at some level until sure. we get him in, in custody. Sheriff, do you have any leads, anything that's uh, concrete since finding the Mercedes? Yeah, we, we have some uh, leads that were going on. Like I say, the U.S. Marshals apprehension team's working those leads, and uh, they'll track him down for sure if, if he's out of Maryland or if he's even in Maryland. Uh, are, are you, you able know. to share any of those leads with me tonight? Yeah, not, not tonight. No, Ashley. I expected you would say that, and I fully respect that. Um, Thank you for watching.
Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.